Um, this area here is memoriam pictures and whatever. This is a memoriam, a framed memoriam for Harper B. Mulligan. This is Harper B. Mulligan. He was captain of our company, the Rough and Ready, in 1891. That up here is a memoriam out of the newspaper that uh, Rough and Ready had made. These three, Harper Mulligan, was our representative in 1891 to the New York State Fireman's Convention in Herkimer. And he and another gentleman from another part of the state <coughs> rented a carriage or hired a carriage and went out on the town a little bit. And on the way back to the hotel, they were crossing the railroad crossing were hit by a train. Harper was killed instantly. He left behind a widow and two children. The other gentleman survived for four days. Harper Mulligan's widow received $800 from the New York State Firemen's Association. The other gentleman received, his widow received $4,000. The justification was Harper didn't suffer, he was killed instantly. The other guy suffered, so that was the reasoning behind the other guy's widow getting more money. But Harper was a very, Mulligans were a prominent family in the village, in the area, and Harper was well known. Um, this one is you know, Edward Healy. He was a he was the treasurer of our company for numerous years. And then this one is Mark Sutherland. He was the chief of the department, or chief of, captain of the Rough and Ready for a period of time. And I believe he was also a chief engineer of the complete Greenwich Fire Department. Um, and you'll notice the burned up flag next to it. That was a, that was a flag that was in the American Legion post when it burnt and the flag and parade poles for other flags wound up down here because after they burnt, the American Legion used this to hold their meetings for a period of time. I haven't been able to bring myself to give that flag a proper disposal because it's, because it's, American flag from the American Legion. Um, that's about it.